Well, thanks for tuning back into the show. The Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. We have the scorecard wide. Ten rounds to two. If that, we, you know, you can, you can go 11 to one. Bivol definitely uh, got rocked by Joe Smith twice in the fourth and in the tenth round. Like, leg stupid rocked. But he rocked Bivol. I mean, Bivol rocked Joe Smith quite a few times, too. Joe Smith has the heart. We could all say that. But one day, I think he's going to get fucked up. And Bibble almost fucked him up in the end of this round, end of the 12th fight. 119-109. And Bibble was cracking him. Bibble, Bibble's good at that distance and that footwork, man. That one, two. Um, it just, Joe Smith just landed some overhand rights. And they all came at the end of the round, just Joe Smith was just with heart, you know, f- fighting and throwing punches. But Bibble just outclassed him. Just outclassed him. Threw some one two, some hooks, and thrown in some left hooks. You know, part of the best part of this fight was the translation of uh, Bibble's corner. Because at the end of the fourth, when he got cracked with that right hook, and <laughs> he kind of like Walk back to his corner all fucked up. <laughs> the, 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 the translation, you know, we heard that shit. What the fuck was that? What the fuck you doing? What the fuck's wrong with your legs? <laughs> his, his, you know, and the fact that the, the lady translation, she was just like, not stuttering, not even thinking about what I said. She was just like, boom, what the fuck? What the fuck's wrong with your legs? You know, and you can tell Sergio and the... Uh, BK, they're like, okay, um, we are an app. Fuck, say curse, why not? So that was entertaining, but and then in the the tenth round, was it? Uh, Joe Smith landed another overhand right that fucking cracked Bivol again. Walk, sent him walking to his corner, fucked up again. But at the end of the twelfth, what shall Bivol say? I don't want him to drop down to one sixty eight. I want to see him fight a fucking Eastern European in 175. Just, I want to see a unification fight. It was train hard. That's all right, dude. You did fucking good, dog. You you you, you about boxed the fucking. It's not like he did a bad performance. He's all like, I didn't know that you go. Fucking box his ass off. Do you? He, that that twelfth round. There was a lot of moments when he was just cracking the shit out of love. Yeah, he he hit you on top of the side of your head, rocked your fucking equilibrium out. Yeah, how do you say it? he made it? What? Yeah, he knocked my balance. Yeah, he fucked your balance up, bro. Yeah, when he was hitting, he he was hitting him right in that equilibrium, right above the air spot. Bibble just couldn't walk back to his corners. He was fucked up. But again, Bibble in this fight, he showed good conditioning, that footwork, that spacing. Dude was so. Oh, translation. He's a how? Why is that, bro? Okay. I just hope. Come on, get 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 to the fucking. Are you gonna fight? You do a unification fight. I do not want to see a 160. Leave a comment down below. Do you want to see a unification fight with 175 European champion, or do you want to see him drop down to 168? I don't want to say that. You know, we need to find out who's best at 175. We need we need that champion. You know, it isn't better be better be still on uh the zone. You know, Colum Johnson got his victory. Oh man, just fucking get to get to the question about unification. They just dragging this shit out right here, making the double RT box show drag the fuck out. 
Okay. <laughs> He's like, man, I don't know. I just ended this fight. Yeah. There you go. You're ready for unification. Oh, he, he wants another champion, even, even if it's 168, 175. He wants, can't argue against that. You got every see? When you get when you got people just dropping. See, it's, I guess it's okay for him to drop down and wait, but I just don't want to sit with the fucking programming network wars. Who's he gonna fight at 168? What belt is he gonna fight? You got a WBO 168, Roberto, IBF 168, Plant. WBA 168. Uh, who's uh, is that Smith? No, Smith is one is WBC. Who's the who's the real 168? You got Canelo and I can't think of the ones real 168. Can't think. No, well, I know you got what you got. You got WBC is Durrell. BA, I can't think of. You got Canelo's the regular. BF is plant. BO is vacant. Oh, well, I guess it's fucking bibble down to 168, man, because the Eastern Europeans ain't going to fight the same fucking. They ain't going to get it done. Double RT Boxing Show. Bibble put on a clinic. Got rocked. Got rocked a few times. Entertaining fight. Entertaining fight. He's. You like. You like to see him do some body shots, but that one, two, and that footwork is something else. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that thumbs up.